What do you think you're gonna find here, Seth? A weapon like Creon's waiting in a cave? Spare me the sarcasm, Jomar. Let's go and explore. You go and explore if you want to. While you stay here? No, I think we'll stick together. After you. Ouch! I hope you weren't planning on going anywhere. What happened? I took this by mistake. When you weren't looking. The flyer's crystal. You could get yourself killed playing tricks like that, Joma. You won't kill me, Seth. You're not the type. Don't talk to me, traitor. When his majesty catches up with you, I'll be there to watch you die. Welcome. I'm Honolai, King of Paranoa, and humble servant of Standing God. You speak our language. Oh, either that or you speak mine. You are enemies, am I right? This man, Seth, is a traitor to his king. Oh, uh, why are you a traitor to your king, Seth? We have no king. I'm loyal to my queen. The queen's dead. Are you sure of that, Joma? It's my duty to punish traitors, naturally. Uh, my wisdom, however, is much too limited for me to judge which of you is lying. Uh, so the crabs must settle the question. The crabs, your majesty? Yes, the crabs of destiny. They're on the next level down. Uh, we can go whenever you're ready. The crabs are in no hurry. And now, turn right uh, towards the little stone shed over there. Crabs of destiny. Allow me to explain. Each of you chooses one crab and places it anywhere along the start line. The first crab to reach the finish line wins the race. The first of you to win three such races is victorious. The loser is clearly the traitor and will have to face severe punishment, I'm afraid. What exactly is the punishment? Well, well I normally keep that as a surprise. But, uh, since you're strangers, if it's you, Seth, I'll choose the hand of God. If Jomar is the guilty one, uh, the flight of the turtle would be fitting. Are you ready? I have a question. How can crabs judge anything? Well, to be honest, uh, they don't. You do. Uh, you choose them, after all. Uh, I, for example, never lose because my hand always chooses the winning crab. Royal wisdom, you might say. Now. Gentlemen, select your crabs. Place your crab anywhere you wish along the start line. When I say three, release your crabs. One, two, three! Keep going! Faster! Faster! Keep going! Seth won one race. One, two, three! Faster! Faster! Not that way, you stupid crab! What's wrong with you? Move! Seth has won two. One, two, three! That's it. Go on! You chose unwisely, Seth! What's wrong with you? Move! The flight of the turtle. The grants of destiny have passed judgment, Joe Barr. I'm sorry, but the penalty is definitely death in this case. You can't kill me. You're not the type. Joe Barr, 
I'm astounded. Uh, well, you're right, of course. But how did you know? The human heart holds no secrets from me, your majesty. A reader of souls! <laughs> Perhaps you can help me with a certain matter. If I can. I am having trouble with one of my daughters, Naka. She refuses to marry the young man I've chosen for her. I wonder if you'd, um... Uh... Talk with her and then give you my opinion? A privilege, Hongalai. Where is the princess? Down in the boat. Come on, I'll introduce you. I'll soon get to the bottom of this, Your Majesty. I'm sure you will, dear Jomar. Uh, do turtles fly on your island, Seth? No, they don't, Your Majesty. No wings, you see. Yeah, that's their problem. Oh, I'd rather you didn't visit the boat. My daughters are on board. Your Majesty, I wouldn't dream of behaving improperly. I know you wouldn't, but uh, they might. Oh, that's my boat. Uh, not the ceremonial one, of course. I only use that on feast days. And uh, whenever there's a sacrifice, of course. Standing God. His power is infinite. And he is easily angered. Oh, the egg of bird woman has no power now. I will tell you the story of my people, Seth. Long ago, our ancestors were bird woman's children. Paranua was her nest. She laid her egg here for us to worship. Its bounty was without limit, and life for our people was easy. But one day, Kalu the fisherman set foot on an island no one had ever seen. It was the kingdom of Stanley God. Having welcomed the god, the fisherman came back to Paranua. Our ancestors prayed that Standing God would never find a home of the mortal man who had interrupted his sleep. But soon, a great storm came and killed many of our people. And the sacred egg of Bird Woman was hatched by lightning. Standing God had found us, and he took the power away from the egg. Now he was our God, and we feared his anger. The father of my father's father had a statue made in the image of Standing God, so that our people could worship him. But they could not stand the God up, because he was so heavy. Standing God's anger was swift, and a sickness fell on Paranua, killing more than half our people. Since then, we sacrifice one of our number each month to appease Standing God and to pay for our sacrifice. That's the rope we use for hunting the sacrificial egg. When the swallows come to nest in the cliff, we hold a race for the young men. The winner earns the right to climb down the cliff with the rope and fill a bag with eggs. What happens then? Well, then I throw them, one by one, at Standing God to give him their power. Standing God? So your queen knows of him. Is she a worshipper or an enemy? Neither, your majesty. I came here to learn about him. Hmm. And she's not a worshipper of Bird Woman, is she? Bird Woman? No. once worshipped Bird Woman and prayed to the sacred egg, but Paranua is no longer Bird Woman's nest. Here is Standing God. Uh, not the real one, of course. But his spirit is here. Where is the real Standing God? I want to see him. 
Whoa, much too dangerous. He's too angry. Why? Because our statue does not stand. That is why we sacrifice one of our number every month. To appease the gods' wrath. Soon, it'll be my daughter's turn to feed the sharks of chastisement. Naka? Uh, or Samar, a twin. Every day my people pray for the statue to stand, but our prayers go unanswered. Another of your wooden birds, Seth. Friend or foe? <laughs> the crabs can't race twice in one day. Sad, Hector! I was afraid you and the queen were dead. Aha! The crabs chose well. Ah, they always do. I chose the crabs, your majesty. They're true, but they directed your choice. I thought I might find you here. Who crashed the big flyer up there? A pilot called Jomar. He's dead. This is his majesty. King Honalai. My respects, Your Majesty. Welcome to Paranua, Hector. What happened to you and Rhea? After we left you at Carbonek, Rhea said she no longer deserved to be queen since she'd betrayed the secret of the hidden knowledge's whereabouts. Gimbus and the commander forced her to tell them, Hector. I know, but she refused to return to Atlantis. She said she'd forfeited the right to rule, and the destiny of Atlantis lay in other hands, in Creon's or in yours. So where did you take her? She told me of a refuge, a place called Shambhala, and asked me to take her there. This statue is standing God. Um, this may sound like a stupid question, but how come he's lying down? Is it his bedtime? This is a bad moment for making jokes, Hector. Unless you fancy some crab racing? Crab racing? Never mind. Just be respectful. The people here can't get the statue to stand up. It's too heavy. Is that what you came here for? To erect a statue? I may have come to the wrong place. It seems the original standing god's on another island. I have a feeling that's where I should be, but Honolai says going there would be too dangerous. The god would be very angry. Why? Because the statue here isn't standing. So if you got it to stand, Honolai might tell you how to get to the original standing god. Honolai has two daughters. The princesses Nama and Saka. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, Sama and Naka. Uh, soon the crabs must choose which of them will be thrown to the sharks of chastisement. What are you doing to standing God? I'm trying to get him to stand, Your Majesty. Be careful, Seth. If you hurt him, his vengeance will be awful. But if I can stand him up, will you help me find the real standing God? The God Kalusa? If you can, I will. What I want you to do is use your flyer to stand the statue up. I don't think I can. It's too heavy. Will you try? I'll need help. Someone with me. Concentrate, Seth. How? Project the idea of movement into the flyer's crystal. Uh, all right. It's no good, Seth. It started to move, but we didn't have enough power. We can try again if you want. Concentrate as hard as you can. I'll try.
sorry, Seth. It's not gonna work. Not enough power, is that the problem? Exactly. My daughter has power. She'll help if we ask her. Wait, Seth, I'll call her. <coughs> Sama? Come out here! Yes, Father? We need your magic, Sama. I have no magic, Father. Naka is the one with power. Uh, oh, so she is. Uh, Naka, come out here! Who are these men, Father? Later, girl. What did I tell you, Seth? They're completely uncontrollable. You wanted me, Father? Ah, Sama, there you are. I'm Naka, Father. Uh, must you enter my baby every time I open my mouth, child? I want you to use your power to help Hector here. He and I are in harmony, Father. Yeah, well, just hop onto the wooden bird and do what Hector says. To help us with the god. Don't tell father I said so. The men are too afraid of standing god to admit their love for bird women. Naka, you're perfect. I think the same about you, Hector. We're in harmony. This is indeed a great day for our people, Seth. The crabs chose most wisely. They always do, your majesty. The god is no longer angry with the people of Paranua. Standing God showed his mercy and sent you to us. And you needn't sacrifice either of your daughters. We are greatly indebted to you and your friend. Will you tell me where the other God is? The one that Kula the fisherman saw? You wish to go there? What if he is angered by your presence? He won't be. He knows we raised the statue. Tell me where to find him, and Hector can fly me there. No, Sama will take you in my boat. I owe you that much. But Hector must stay here. If Standing God shows signs of anger, your friend will be sacrificed to him. Do you agree to this? I can't leave Hector as a hostage, Honolai. Yes, you can, sir. What is there to fear? A storm? Somebody dying? The statue falling down, anything could happen, and it would be the god expressing his anger. What choice do you have? We can look for the place, Hector. It can't be all that far. We're bound to find it. I won't stop you from leaving if that's what you wish. But I won't tell you where to find Standing God. It could take weeks, Seth. Even months. This ocean is huge. Agree to Honolai's offer. I'm not afraid. Well, do you accept? Then let's go to the boat. Naka, come out here. You will stay here with Hector, Naka. Seth and I are going to see Sama. After you, Seth. Uh, you're the one who reads maps? Yes, Father. Good. I want you to take Seth to where the fisherman Kula saw the standing god. Aren't you afraid of his anger, Seth? No, Sama. Naka and Hector raised the statue. Standing god must be pleased. I've never seen the map that leads to that place, Father. It is here, child. Look. It's the map Kula made when he came back. The winds and currents and other islands are all marked. The map is clear, Father. 